Did you know that China is home to the largest salamander species in the world? The Chinese giant salamander, an ancient creature that has remained virtually unchanged for millions of years. Due to its high value in traditional medicine and gourmet cuisine, this salamander has become a symbol, and as a result, farmers in China have developed specialized breeding techniques to raise them in large-scale farms. However, farming the Chinese giant salamander is not as simple as raising fish or chickens. These amphibians have unique needs that make the farming process both challenging and fascinating. You may not know this, but the Chinese giant salamander can live up to 100 years, and it can grow over 5 feet long, a truly impressive size. One of the most remarkable behaviors of this creature is its ability to communicate through sound. Despite being a relatively silent predator, it can make barking, whining, and even crying like noses to interact with others. Because of this, it is often referred to as baby fish in China. Another interesting fact is that the Chinese giant salamander is almost completely blind, but don't underestimate it. It has an extraordinary ability to use a sense of touch and smell to navigate its environment and find food. A powerful creature, it survives and thrives by relying on senses other than sight. What makes the Chinese giant salamander even more fascinating is the male's unique role in parenting. The male creates a den where the female lays her eggs, then guards them for five to six months. During this time, the male continuously monitors and even eats infected eggs to protect the healthy ones from disease. This behavior shows the male's dedication to its offspring. However, despite being a remarkable and culturally significant creature, the Chinese giant salamander is now facing a serious risk of extinction. Overfishing, habitat loss, and illegal trade have caused its population to decline sharply in recent decades. Therefore, its conservation has become a critical issue. This salamander is not just a cultural symbol, but also an important part of the ecosystem. Let's work together to protect them so future generations can still marvel at and learn from these amazing creatures. Healthy salamanders thrive in clean, cold water, replicating their natural habitat in underground caves and freshwater streams. Farmers create controlled environments with constant water circulation, oxygenation, and temperature regulation to ensure these delicate creatures stay healthy. Without proper water quality, salamanders can become stressed and stop eating, making water management one of the most critical aspects of farming. These tanks are designed with smooth, sloped bottoms to prevent injury, and they are separated into different sections based on the age and size of the salamanders. Breeding salamanders is one of the most delicate stages of farming. During the breeding season, farmers carefully manage temperature and water conditions to stimulate mating. Female salamanders lay their eggs in hidden crevices, and farmers collect and incubate them in special tanks to ensure high survival rates. The tiny larvae hatch and spend their early weeks under constant care before being moved to larger enclosures. The what do these creatures eat? Unlike traditional farm animals, salamanders are carnivorous and require a diet rich in protein. Farmers feed them small fish, worms, and specially formulated, protein-rich pellets to support their growth. In the wild, these amphibians grow slowly, but on farms with optimal conditions, they can reach market size much faster sometimes in just a few years. To avoid overfeeding and contamination of the water, farmers meticulously monitor the amount of food each salamander consumes. Any leftover food is carefully removed to maintain a clean environment and prevent bacterial growth, which could harm the delicate creatures. What you're witnessing is an intricate system of specially designed pools and tunnels, engineered to closely mimic the salamander's natural habitat in the wild. On farms in China, the giant salamander can grow up to 1.8 meters 6 feet long and weigh over 30 kilograms 66 pounds. With the right conditions controlled environments, clean water, and a balanced diet these amphibians can grow to massive sizes, far surpassing their wild counterparts. These salamanders thrive in this highly controlled farming environment, which simulates the cold clear waters of underground caves and mountain streams, providing them with everything they need to grow healthy and strong. 
Breeding these salamanders is a highly delicate process requiring precise adjustments to water temperature, oxygen levels, and feeding schedules to stimulate mating. Farmers monitor every stage of their development, ensuring that the young salamanders are properly cared for as they grow. Once they reach full size, they are carefully harvested and either sold to restaurants, distributed in the medicinal markets, or used in conservation efforts. In China, the meat of the giant salamander is considered a rare and luxurious delicacy. It has been highly valued for centuries in traditional medicine, believed to improve overall health, boost immunity, and promote longevity. The consumption of salamander meat is often seen as a symbol of wealth and social status. Wealthy individuals frequently enjoy this rare treat at special banquets where it is served in gourmet dishes. The meat itself is typically cooked in soups or stews, allowing it to become tender and flavorful. In some regions, it is braised with a blend of herbs and spices, adding even more layers of taste and enhancing its supposed health benefits. Many believe that consuming the meat not only improves physical strength, but also aids in prolonging one's life, making it a sought-after food for those who can afford it. However, the farming of giant salamanders comes with its challenges. These creatures, while resilient, are extremely sensitive to water quality and environmental factors. Even the slightest imbalance in the temperature, water cleanliness, or feeding schedule can cause stress, which may lead to them refusing food or even becoming ill. The farming process involves constant monitoring and precise care to ensure that the salamanders remain healthy and grow to their full potential. The future of these fascinating creatures is in the balance as they face increasing pressure from habitat loss, overfishing, and illegal poaching. While farming efforts have helped to preserve and even grow their population in some areas, the wild species continues to struggle. Conservation programs play a crucial role in ensuring that the Chinese giant salamander does not disappear entirely from the wild, helping to protect these ancient animals and their unique role in the ecosystem. everyone. Today, we're going to explore one of the most unique and promising farming models, peacock farming. These magnificent birds, with their dazzling plumage and majestic appearance, are not only symbols of natural beauty, but also hold significant economic value. So, why do farmers raise peacocks? Let's find out. Peacocks are famous for their stunning feathers, but their true name is actually Pifa. These majestic birds are native to Asia, although some have now been spotted in the Congo. Only the males are called peacocks, while the females are known as peahens, and their chicks are called peachicks. Over time, peacock became the go-to name for the entire species. Then Ben MCC and Hyun Pifal start out with dull feathers, but as they mature, their colors begin to intensify. It takes nearly three years for a peacock's breathtaking plumage to fully develop, just in time for them to impress potential mates with their vibrant colors and intricate feather displays. One of the rarest and most stunning varieties of peafowl is the white peacock. Unlike albino peafowls, they are a unique genetic variation of the blue peacock. While most white peacocks live in captivity, a few can still be spotted in the wilds of India, adding to their mystique and allure. Unlike other poultry, peacocks are not commonly raised for their meat or eggs. Instead, their value lies in their stunning beauty and mesmerizing feathers. Peacock feathers are highly sought after for use in interior decoration, fashion, arts, and crafts. Their elegant appearance makes them a prized item in many cultural and artistic practices. In addition to their beauty, exhibiting peacocks has become a popular business. Many tourists and bird enthusiasts are eager to admire these rare and majestic creatures. 
Peacock Farming offers an attractive opportunity for those looking to generate income by showcasing these birds to the public and selling their feathers for decorative and artistic purposes. The appeal of peacocks goes beyond their visual splendor. Their presence often draws in visitors, making it a profitable business for those with the space and resources to raise them. Peacocks require a spacious environment to thrive. These majestic birds are known for their vibrant plumage and graceful movements, and to display their full beauty, they need room to roam freely. Each adult peacock requires at least 100 square feet of space, and to ensure they don't fly away, the enclosures need to be equipped with fences that are at least 6 to 7 feet high. These high fences help keep them secure, while allowing them to exhibit their stunning tail feathers and move around comfortably. Providing a shelter is essential for their well-being. While peacocks can adapt to various weather conditions, having a shelter helps protect them from the harsh elements. The shelter should be equipped with wooden perches for roosting at night, as this behavior is natural for peacocks. Roosting not only helps them stay safe from potential predators, but also provides them with a comfortable place to rest. In winter, heated perches can be used to ensure their sensitive feet stay warm, helping the peacock stay cozy during colder months. These additional considerations are crucial for maintaining the health and comfort of the birds throughout the year. Roosting is a deeply instinctive behavior for peacocks. In the wild, it allows them to escape from predators and avoid threats while they sleep. Roosting perches give them a sense of security, as they can perch up high and stay out of harm's way. When farming peacocks, creating a natural and safe environment for them to express these instincts is vital to their well-being. The process of courtship among peacocks is nothing short of breathtaking. The male peacock, with his magnificent tail feathers, performs an extraordinary display to attract a mate. When he spots a female, he spreads out his bright, colorful tail in a stunning display, strutting in front of her to grab her attention. As he moves, he shakes his feathers, making them shine and sparkle, creating an inspiring spectacle. This display of beauty is designed to showcase the male's fitness and attract the attention of potential mates. If the female is impressed with his performance, she will approach him and mimic his movements, signaling that she is ready to mate. This ritual is a captivating dance of nature, where the male's vibrant feathers and confidence in his display play an essential role in the peacock's courtship process. After mating, the peahen typically lays between three to five eggs in a shallow nest, often nestled among tall grass or bushes. These nests are strategically placed to provide the eggs with some protection from predators and harsh weather. The incubation period lasts around 27 to 30 days, during which the mother stays close, keeping the eggs warm and safe. Her devotion to protecting the nest is crucial for the survival of the peachicks, who are highly vulnerable in their early stages of life. Once the eggs hatch, the peachicks emerge covered in soft down feathers that provide them with initial warmth and protection. At this stage, the tiny peachicks are completely dependent on their mother for warmth, safety, and guidance. They stay close to her, learning how to navigate the world and avoid potential dangers. The mother teaches them the basics of foraging, finding food, and staying safe, ensuring they grow strong and independent. The entire life cycle of peacocks, from courtship and mating to the nurturing of the young peachicks, is a beautiful example of nature's design. Raising these birds is not only a rewarding experience for farmers, but also a fascinating journey into the world of one of nature's most stunning creatures. The delicate balance between care, environment, and understanding their natural instincts ensures the success of peacock farming, making it a worthwhile and no inspiring venture. Proper care for peacocks is essential to ensure their well-being and the success of their farming. Every year, during the molting season, the peacocks on the farm naturally shed their old feathers to make way for the growth of fresh, vibrant ones. This natural process is a beautiful sight, as their feathers, full of color and elegance, fold gently to the ground. The farmer patiently collects each fallen feather, handling them with care to avoid causing any harm to the birds. Peacock farming is not merely a hobby for many farmers, it has become a highly profitable business model. 
with the increasing demand for peacock feathers in fashion and interior design industries, these birds have proven to be a valuable commodity. The mesmerizing appeal of their courtship displays, which attract both tourists and enthusiasts, further enhances their marketability. As a result, many farmers are finding sustainable economic opportunities in peacock farming by showcasing the birds, selling their feathers, and even offering their unique courtship rituals as a form of entertainment for visitors.